Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed Grizzly. Um, little do you know, uh, one of the main stars of Grizzly was on Playgirl, Christopher George. That's right. Google it, ladies. Christopher George Playgirl. A little cold in the room when they shot him, from what I hear. A little cold. He was just in the pool. Just in the pool. Just got out. That, that's what they say. Just got out of the pool. Could have been in the lake. Just got out. You know, it was crazy. Uh, got some tweets, some live tweets in the show here. That's right, guys. Uh, again, our buddy at Bill Stone King tweeted us and uh, says, um, Why don't you pick me up while you're in Wisconsin, you fucks? I got to get out of here. This place is going to kill me. Bill, I'm not going to Wisconsin, man. You decided to move to that shithole. I'm over here uh, on the beaches. You want to you wanna hang out? Come to us. Come to us, man. I don't know what to say. Got another tweet from at Modern Dom. Hey, at Modern Dom. Um, you were the best sex I ever had. Uh, we'll cut that out. Maybe we'll cut that out. I don't. Anyway. But how do you cut out a live feed from a satellite dish? Oh, yeah. Ten second delay. Ten second you know, delay. We can't. Sorry, Modern Dom. Thank you, by the way. I don't, I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. Rounding out the night. That's right. This this is a classic. This is a big one. Rounding out the awesome night that we have. Sleepaway Camp, guys. Right. From 1983, also known as Nightmare Vacation. This was marketed on VHS as Nightmare Vacation. Uh, you can find a poster for Nightmare Vacation or a VHS for Nightmare Vacation. You're in the know. I mean, if you're a collector, you know, great, great thing. Uh, this is an exploitation slasher film. Now, we have slasher films, and then we have exploitation slasher films. Uh, what I consider an exploitation slasher film is um, taking the slasher film and exploiting it. Right? You get the original slasher films. You get the, you know, uh, Psycho, you get the Friday the 13th, you get... Halloweens. And these for all intentions were, were meant to be kind of serious horror films, right? Well, not Sleepaway Camp. Uh, low budget uh, movie and it says, hey, we're going to take the slasher film and we're going to exploit it. So look up the definition of what exploitation is. And, and they did it really well. Uh, uh, the film is uh, written by written and directed by uh, Robert Bilskick. Or Bilskick? Bilskick? That's right. Uh, also served as uh, the executive producer. Uh, the film, as we we know, tells a story about a young girl and her cousin sent to a summer camp uh, where a group of killings start to happen. And some good kills in this movie. Good kills. Real sleazy, look, real sleazy kills. Um, it, just a bunch of New York kids, man. New Jersey kids, Philly kids, whatever went to a camp and they filmed this movie. Um, I like it. it, it I, I almost like it better than some of the Friday the 13th films. Um, now, when released at the time uh, when slasher films were in its heyday, uh, it, it was infamously known for its twist ending, uh, which may be the most shocking ending that I originally witnessed. I was shocked. Now, I was smoking weed at the time. I don't smoke weed anymore. I'm pretty, you know, whatever. Right? And I was, I was kind of high, and I was watching Sleepaway Camp. I had never seen it before. And I was like, yeah, man. And I was watching it during the summer. But, you know, the window was open. About 9 o'clock at night, the sun had just set. I'm just chilling, ate some dinner, smoked some weed, I'm watching Sleepaway Camp. And that fucking ending made me sit up. And I'm like, holy shit. Now, if any of you in this in, in this chat room tonight, or anybody joining us tonight, has never seen Sleepaway Camp, be prepared for an awesome ending, uh, a, a great ending. Um, yeah. it, it's it's also uh, how can I say, just real low budget, but cool. Um, it's gonna be a really good companion with Grizzly. That's all I can say. Uh, be prepared to have fun. Don't turn your set off, don't turn your phone off, don't turn your computer off, tablet, your refrigerator, TV. Transistor radio, I don't know. I don't know, man. Can you, it might be streaming. I know we were planning on getting that CB reset back up, so it could be over the, over the breaker breakers. Yeah, and let me tell you, man, this movie, going back to it, did get some pretty good critical reception. Um, it's, it's got a, uh, an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty good. 
Um, it, 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 it did produce several sequels in my mind that didn't quite live up to what the original was. The original protagonist was recast by Bruce Springsteen's sister. Don't you guys know? Um, it was okay. A lot of people. I love the sequels. I I love the sequels too. They're their own films. Don't get me wrong, but they don't match up to the original. Um, and then it took uh, um, a lot of years uh, for them to do a part four, and uh, it's like returns to the camp. And I don't know, man. I mean, I, I just feel like you spend all these years developing a part four for a huge sequel or whatever the case may be. Uh, it, it really should have been a lot bigger than what it was, but whatever. So, you know, if you guys want to check out Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers, Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland, go check it out. Um, uh, they're okay, but let's concentrate on Sleepy Camp 1 tonight. Good movie. Um, transgenders rejoice. That's all I'll say. See you soon.